DOM elements dispatch events and markup makes it easier to handle events altogether. For example, I have here a button and the way I can set events is by using the normal HTML syntax to set inline event handlers. For this, it will be a click event and I'll provide the handle click function I created here. If I inspect this in the browser, you can see that the onClick attribute is not included when markup renders the tag. It is actually not recommended and markup enforces it. And if I click this button, I can see the event being logged. So far, everything here looks and works like native HTML. What markup is doing is setting event listeners behind the scenes, managing all event handlers for you. If later on I decide to dynamically swap this click event handler for another, markup will know to remove previous listeners and use the new one. However, markup extends this by allowing you to set event listeners options. For example, I can add a comma and create a click event option object and provide it after the comma. Now, if I go to the browser, I can click this button once, and after that, nothing happens. Again, Markup is using Add Event Listeners API behind the scenes. And as you can see here in the docs, they take options. You can use the once option I just used. You can also specify if the listener is passive. You can set signals if you want to abort the event listeners later, use capture, etc. This is Markup making sure you don't go out of your way to get DOM references just so you can handle event listeners options on your own. One thing that Markup improves upon is custom events. Markup allows you to listen to custom events from web components using this inline event syntax. The rule is very simple. The attribute must start with the word on and Markup will know if it is an observed attribute name or a custom event name. So no need to worry about name collisions in your web components. As you can see, Markup simplifies events in HTML a little and allows you to accomplish more and use the normal inline syntax. Try it out and build smarter.